Good morning, children. In lesson Shelter Its Variety, in part 1, you learnt the houses are made according to the climatic conditions. People use different kinds of materials to build their houses. Today, we will study about different types of houses. There are mainly two types of houses. Okay, which are the two types? One is kacha house and another one is pakka house. First, we will study about kacha house. Do you know the meaning kacha? Small. Kacha house is also known as small house. So, kacha house are also called small huts. These houses are made up of mud and straw and they are not very strong. Okay. These kacha houses even made of wood and those type of houses are called wooden houses. Mainly they use bamboos to build houses. Understood? Next one is Pakka house. Pakka house is also known as permanent house. And these houses are made up of bricks, iron rods, cement, etc. They are very strong. They are very strong. Sometimes the permanent house are pakka houses, are sloping roof houses, flat roofed houses and some are apartments. Okay. These are all examples for pakka houses. Children, I think you understood the types of houses. Once again, shall we repeat? Mainly there are two types, kacha house and pakka house. Kacha means a small house. They are made of mud and straw. They are not strong. Pakka are permanent houses. They are made of bricks, iron rods and they are strong. Examples for these are sloping roofed houses, flat roofed houses and apartments. Okay. Yes. Children. Do you know the houses are built depending on the materials available in the locality and the climatical conditions of the places? Yes, you know, you learnt in part 1, isn't it? There is a variety in the shelter of animals also. They use different materials to build their shelters, don't they? Yes. Like human beings, animals also have variety in their shelter. So, now let us study about the shelters of animals and birds. Children, have you observed the living places of certain animals and birds? Okay, I will show you one chart. First, observe the chart of animals and birds. Their shelter and use of materials to construct the shelters. Okay, later you have to fill it. One by one, I will explain. First one is sparrow. What? Sparrow. Sparrow is a bird. So, their shelter is nest. Isn't it? Sparrows live in nests. And the material used for constructing next is dry leaves, straw and also twigs. Next is white ants. I think you might have heard about white ants. These white ants are also known as termites. Termites live in galleries, board wood, dead trees, structural timbers and wooden buildings. Some examples here you are observing. 
white ants. Okay. Third one is weaver bird. It is also a bird. They build the nest using twigs, grass and other things. Okay. Weaver bird. You are observing the pictures of weaver bird. Looks small ones but how they build the nest see. The fourth one is parrot. It is also a bird. So it builds nest using dry leaves, twigs etc. Look here some of the pictures of parrots building nests. Fourth is parrot. Okay. Fifth one is tiger. Tiger is a wild animal. So they live in caves. Shelter of tiger is cave. Caves are naturally made of stones. Sixth one is fish. Fish. Where it lives? Do you know? Yes, they live in water. So their shelter is water. Next one is woodpecker. It is also a bird. It lives in the tree. What they will do to build shelter? Do you know children? They will make holes in the tree and they live inside the holes. Then comes the crow. They will build the nest. For that they use dry leaves, twigs, straw etc. Ninth one is frog. Frog is an amphibian. So it lives both on land and in water. Where it lives? It lives both on land and in water. Look here some of the pictures of frog. Okay. So many varieties of frogs you are observing. Next is rat. Rat leaves in the holes are burrows. They make holes and leaves inside the holes are also we call burrows. Okay. Look here some of the pictures of rats making burrows. You are observing the pictures of holes. Yes. Next comes honey bee. Where do they live? Yes, they live in the hive. So their shelter is hive. And they collect, to make their hives, they collect nectar from the flowers. And last comes snake. Where do the snakes live? Snakes also lives in the holes. See here some of the pictures of snakes making holes. Yes, are you observing the pictures? Okay. Yes, see here. So that all the living beings, animals, either birds or human beings, all need shelter. There is a variety in the shelter of the animals also. They use different materials to build their shelters. Don't they? Now I think you understood. Okay. Thank you for watching this. Bye.